I'm just reviewing the main piece of slate that I wanted to put on the top shelf. Um, so I've marked this out loosely. Imagine this is the back edge, so I've got the substrate on there, on there and I want the slate to overlap so I can strengthen up the sides. Um, so that comes out to there, but what I've done, instead of taking that right over there, which would have left a little bit of the substrate along there and I was going to put pebbles in the, in the nibble pieces and along the end there, I've moved it over. I can put some slate in there but this means this is going to actually going to be wider. It's going to be about 60 at its maximum point. But I love that edge and I wondered if you would too and if that was practical for you. If you can see the blue line there, that's the size roughly the bowl's going to be. So it takes up a huge area. You know, you still stand next to it and, you know, get in there and wash properly. So really i just wanted to know what you thought about that natural edge and then whatever i do there will be a bleed of pebbles coming off this lovely bit of slate i could keep that window in there all these will be trimmed up a bit and then this is just a rough sprinkling of, of what i might use oh and um you know what about then taking this around and then letting the pebbles fall you know let that edge fall fall naturally and i can just trim around that so it's hugely organic then and then the bottom shelf can be a bit simpler um, so it doesn't fight with what's going on on the top 